Welcome back to the Hawaii Honda Dealers Post Game Show. And welcome back to the corner. Let's take a look right here. Kate Lane going back, and she picks up the ace, one of three she served up here tonight, leading Hawaii to the five-set victory over at USC. And, and congratulations on the win. Thank you. You know, we were talking right before we went on there about, you were saying, you know, the rallies are so long, how long the matches have been. Yeah. A lot of good defense, a lot of long rallies. Yeah, yeah. We had, um, we had a two-hour practice of just defense, so it was pretty intense, but I'm glad we did it. It was, it was good. Um, preparation for this weekend. Can you talk about your service aces though? Three service aces, that was, and they came a good oh, time. Oh yeah, well that was part of the game plan is always <laughs> always serving tough, so that had to that had to happen. <laughs> Congratulations on your five-setter. How does it feel sort of to have all these fans here and you know, a lot of energy, a lot of hype in this big five-setter. How did that really motivate you and feel you through what, this three-hour match? Yeah, I mean, it's always electric in the stand and having everybody behind us and having the state behind us means so much to the team, so it was easy to play in front of our family. One of the things that we're just noticing as we look at some of the highlights is the connections with the middles, which has seemed to uh, grow over time. We saw just the effort that's being made. Even if you're pulled off the net, you're trying to get your middles involved. Uh, how much are you talking with that, with the coaching staff? Of course, when Amber is in the front, or you want to get her as much as possible. But is there anything strategic, whether it be in front or behind, in order to keep these middles involved? Yeah, I think it really just matters with the blockers right now. We're looking at how other teams are setting up against our middles. And if that has Amber or Kennedy in front versus behind, there's um, there's always just a setup for that. So. You know, you two guys battled for the uh, the center position a couple of years ago, <laughs> but you guys are also pretty good friends, right? Yeah, I would we, say are. So. <laughs> we are. We are. We actually are. <laughs> how, how how hard is that though? The, I mean, you're, you you want to be the starter, but that's also your you know one of your good friends. How do you separate right. the two? Um, I think that Milana and I, and including Jackie and I, we make sure to have good relationships whenever we're leave, leaving the gym. So we always make sure that we're checking in on each other and just being on the team in the first place. We all are friends off the court and outside of the gym, so it's it's pretty easy. It's not that much of a challenge. You got any, you got any good <laughs> stories on her before she leaves for Germany? Uh, maybe not for her air. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's not say anything. And congratulations. Good thing you don't play tomorrow. You guys can rest, but you have an early morning practice, right? We do have an early morning practice. Not that early early though 9 a.m. is okay oh that's early it's very okay <laughs> we're used to 6 a.m. Yeah. so it's really late for us actually well get some yeah. rest have a good practice watch the football game we'll see you again on Saturday okay. thank you Kate Lang our very special guest here in the quarter she and the rainbow wahine go to three and one on the season